All right. This is good news. Great news. Michael Drake has been charged with manslaughter. And, you know, just going back, made a video about the sustain your ground law. Of course, you do a crime, but that's just justifiable if you're defending yourself. And if an individual is threatening your life, you have the ability to kill them. And with this situation over a parking space, I believe Michael Drake, because he had intentions to kill someone. And you're not in some type of law enforcement. Even if you were in law enforcement, you sh should still be charged according to the uh, law. My thing is this. With the young lady, she was minding her own business. And yes, she shouldn't probably park in the handicapped um, spot. But you could have just moved forward, purchased your item, and went home. But you took it upon yourself to go ahead and kill this young man. Now... As a man, you're supposed to protect your family. You're supposed to protect your woman, yourself. And we don't know if this has been going on for a long time or a while when they was arguing. And all he knows is that, okay, why is this strange dude up in here in my, my family? You know, he's, what is he doing? He's around my car. My baby's here. Well, what's going on? And I believe he took upon himself that, you know, that man came in him and he defended her. And, you know, sadly, it just cost him his life. But... With this, I'm I'm glad that this happened. Even though the justice system is so biased, man, and it's very corrupted, especially uh, towards black men, I want to say, man. But getting into this, um, I want to say Benjamin Crump, who was the family attorney for um, McLaxton and his uh, family here, uh, they they worked really hard on this. Um, he was actually a lawyer for the Trayvon Martin case, even though he didn't win that case because George Zimmerman just walked out free. But with this, man, um, I think this is um, a message, man. You're just not going to go up here and just kill black folks. I'm, even though manslaughter is a little less degree because it's not uh, catered to first degree murder, it's pretty much manslaughter. It's just a, um, a sort of like a killing, involvement of a killing of a human being. Uh, without malice or some type of forethought in the circumstances of murder so it's like more of a lesser charge but i'm glad he just didn't walked out free because copycats going to continue to do this but i want to say so the message to the black men and family man you know we we, we still I understand we still got to be accountable for our actions man but i think that you know Michael Drakus, what he did was is completely wrong, but we are in a spiritual war, in a spiritual battle. And this is why I want like black families to really stick together and be with each other, man. As black men, that's all and that's all we have at the end of the day, man. You know, and I'm not trying to be on like this white supremacy type stuff, like keeping this holding us down, but at the end of the day, man, we we have we gotta have each other. We gotta patronize each other's businesses. We gotta love each other, man. You know, we gotta restore our family and households, man. We gotta be the protectors and the providers, man, back in the day. And we gotta instill this, man. The media and all this matrix of life is just eliminating that. And with this, I'm glad he just didn't walk out free. Because the justice system is not in our favors all the time. But with this, man, um, you know, I'm uh, still condolences to that young brother, 28 years old. I'm just sick of seeing black men just getting killed, especially unjustly, man. But, you know, with this, I had to, you know, do a response on this. And this is how I feel. I feel like Mike Drake, he should at least get charged for first-degree murder. Manslaughter, that's a little slap in the wrist, but at least he's doing some time. Some time. And the stand your ground law, even though it's been implemented in 2006, still got to be in the hands and the favor of black men, in a way. But with this, um, I'm glad this is some type of organization. Shouts out to Benjamin Crown, the family attorney, again. But, you know, this is a message. This is the black man, the black family. We are somebody. You know, uh, I don't care what anyone wants to say. You know, we ancestors, man, they, they came a long way. We had the first six black millionaires. You know, we, we had John Mott Drew, who started the black, uh, black transit star line, you know, transit bus line in Philadelphia in the early 1900s. So we came from greatness, man. Malcolm X, of course, you know, MLK. Uh, you know, Marcus Mosea Garvey, you know, do the Black Star Line. He was understanding that, you know, we got to understand our roots as a black man, you know, and always seek intelligence because ignorance carries the burden. Intelligence always rules the world. And this motivates me as a young black man because I understand at the end of the day, the courts is not going to be on our side. That's why you have to be wise, you know, innocent as a dove, but wise as a serpent, reading, studying, being consistent each and every single day, like the people in the Bible has been spreading the gospel, even though they went to jail numerous of times, like Peter and Paul, but they still continue. They didn't get discouraged, and they still continue to spread that message, and that's just the key factor of black men. We got to have in those elements. We do those same things, just anything, man, providing for our family, regardless of how a woman acts doing things for ourselves you know uh economic structures man 
and just building each other up and patronize our own businesses like i said we can eliminate a lot of this crap and that's one of the best solutions in the black community it's just a mentality shift that i preach every single day man but with this with this situation i'm glad it's 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 it's, it's getting it's, it's going to taurus the mclaughlin family uh, rest in peace to the young man and his family here and the condolences as well but we gotta this 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 where we are we are a struggle battle man and we can't have the media just think that we can turn against our own people and we will never do that man but that's all i gotta say continue to rise up i'm glad but i believe that it should have been more than manslaughter but it is what it is and he should be in prison for what he's done and i'm glad benjamin crump was on it but this is your boy young lean jr you guys continue to like comment subscribe i love you guys man i'm out deuces